Hi students, uh, welcome to this series whereby we are solving uh, different questions in mathematics to help you understand mathematics easily. And in today's session, we will solve some few questions uh, from last year's national exams from to national assessment, basic mathematics. So as you can see, this paper consists uh, consisted actually 10 compulsory questions. Uh, each question carries 10 marks. Students were supposed to show clearly the workings and answers in the space provided. All writings must be in blue or black ink, except a drawing, which must be in pencil. So we can s select uh, our blue uh, ink. This is a bit of blue, actually, you can see it, so we are going to use it. Uh, nectar mathematical tables, geometric instruments, and the graph papers may be used where necessary. All communication devices, calculators, and any unauthorized materials uh, are not allowed in the examination. Write your assessment number at the top right corner of every page. So these were the instructions. Uh, all students were supposed to uh, abide, actually, to obey the instructions. Otherwise, they will suffer the consequences. So we, we go directly to questions. And now here is the question number one. Majuma deposited 360,000 shilling in her bank account. If the bank charges 1,000 shilling for every withdrawal, calculate the amount of money remained in her account. If she withdraw 160,000 shilling. So basically, uh, for part one, uh, Majuma actually she is going with the draw we can say amount with the draw amount with the draw we are going to take 360,000 shilling to subtract the amount she with the draw that is 160,000 shilling but also we are going to add here the bank charges. So basically you are taking 360, you subtract 107,000 uh, shilling. So you have zero, zero, zero. 10 minus seven, you get three. You have five here, you have two. As you can see actually, uh, Roman one, in the amount with the drawn uh, so the amount uh, sorry this is amount remained because we're supposed to find the amount remained in her account so we say amount remained will be 253,000 shilling you go to Roman 2 as she make further withdraw of 50,000 from the remained amount. So now the amount remained after second withdraw, you are going to take 253,000 shilling. You subtract 50,000 shilling, but you add 1,000 uh, so that you add withdrawn fee. In this case, you have now 253, you subtract 51, and the result is going to be 0, 0, 0, you have 2 here, 0, 2, 202 shilling. So amount remained, amount remained after second with the draw uh, 
uh, is 202,000 shilling, dear students. So that is uh, Roman 1 and 2, question number 1. Now going to question number 1b, we're supposed to change, we're supposed to change 2.43, repeating into fraction, but it has to be mixed fraction. So procedure-wise, we're going to let let x be 2.43 repeating so you can say this is 2.4333 3, 3. it continues like that now you're going to multiply by 10 both side so you have 10x equals to 24.33 now, having these two equations here, uh, I'm going to take equation 2 minus equation 1. And from there you get actually 10xe minus xe equals to 24.333 minus 2.433. So 3 here is repeating again. So it is not necessary to use all these. You can just say 3 here repeating and here it is 3 repeating. So eventually you have 9xe equals to, when you subtract you get 0, 13 minus 4 you get 9, here you have 1, 2. So basically, I continue here. You have 9xe equals to 21.9. Divide by 9, both sides you get 21.9 over 9. Now multiply by 10, both sides. You have xe 219 divided by 90. You want to simplify? We have to do that actually. So by 3 here is 7, 3, by 3 here is going to be that. When you divide, actually you're going to say that 2.43 repeating, this is 2 and 13 over 30. Thank you. So that is uh, how we were supposed to solve question number 1. Now, going to question number two uh, in our session, we solve these two questions. So, uh, question number two here now, uh, we were told that uh, there is a dog. A dog, a cat, and a goat have masses 30.7, 13.44, 18.26, respectively. Calculate the total mass of all three animals, giving the answer to the nearest your whole number. So we can start a solution. Solution for Roman 1. We are going to add those kgs, 30.70. You have 13.44. Have eighteen point two six. When you add them together, what we are getting here is you have ten. So you you carried one. It is eight, twelve, fourteen. You carried one again. It is twelve. Then four, five, six, sixty-two. 62.4 kg. So the total mass is 62.4 kg, which is approximately equals to 62 uh, kilogram, dear students, because we're supposed to round to the nearest whole number. Going to Roman 2, Roman 2, we can do it here. 
round off the mass of dog to nearest ones so mass of dog is approximately equal to nearest ones so it is 30 kg you go to mass of cat uh, you were supposed to round it to the nearest uh, to correct it to one decimal place so it will be 13 uh, point four kg and then you go to mass of a uh, god to three significant figures so you're going to have 18.3 kg so as you can see this is correct to nearest ones this is correct to three decimal places to one decimal place and this one here is correct to three significant figures we go to uh, b roman one add the following units so we are supposed to add here so without going to any other place we can just add here so adding there you have nine zero it is ten you put zero you carry one one plus nine is zero you carry one nine plus one you get uh, nine plus one you we get ten it is again ten eleven so put your one you carry one thirteen fourteen so actually the answer is going to be 14 kilometers you have 100 meters and 9 cent, uh, nine millimeters so this is the answer but for roman 2 convert the answer you obtained in 2b into meters so now you have to convert that is to uh, B part two. We have to change now fourteen kilometers, one hundred meters, nine millimeters into meters. So starting with fourteen kilometers, this is fourteen times 1000 meters you get 14000 meters and 9 millimeter this is 9 divided by 1000 now it is meter so it is 0 0.009 meter so you add them together now Adding them together, you have 14,000 meter plus 100 meter plus 0 0.009 meter. This is equivalent to 14,100.009 meters. So this is how we were supposed to solve question number one and question number two. If you have any question, uh, don't hesitate actually to comment in the uh, comment section below. So till next time, I uh, hope to see you here again, coming back to see how we are solving mathematics questions. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best in your uh, mathematics learning journey.